In this tutorial, we will learn how to emboss or engrave text onto a surface. So let's begin by drawing a part to which we can engrave or emboss on. Let's select the YZ plane. And for this, let's draw a three point rectangle. We'll start at the origin and we'll dimension this 50 in length at an angle of 30 degrees. Press enter. And for the wall thickness, we'll do two millimeters. We'll draw in a mirror line from the top, just here, give me any distance. That is a construction line, and then we'll mirror these two lines and this one here. Uh, we'll select the mirror line, which is our construction line here. We'll click apply. Then that's our sketch term. We'll go to 3D model and we'll extrude, select the relevant profiles. So this one, this one, and this one. And we will extrude by 150 millimeters. I'm just going to apply some fillets to tidy that up. Okay, now we are ready to add in our text and to emboss and engrave that. So let's select this face and we'll offset uh, a plane. We could do this by any distance. In this case, I'm going to choose 25 millimeters. So we have our plane there. Let's select that plane, create a 2D sketch on it, and then we'll get a sketch and we'll add in some text. Shortcut is T. I'm going to put the text at the top there. And we're going to write uh, how to emboss text. It's going to select that and give that a size of eight. I'll put that in the center and middle justification and we'll use bold as well. Okay. And then we can position our text so we can use the dimension tool or we can just position it anywhere. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to position it, uh, let's say here. Go to finish sketch, go on 3D model and we'll select the emboss command, our pop-up box. Now, first we need to select our profile. So in this case, it's the text. So ensure uh, that it's highlighted in red, like that. And then we need to identify if we're embossing or engraving. So for this, we'll emboss, and then we choose the depth. Um, so for this, uh, know, let's say 1.5 millimeters. Then we need to ensure that we're embossing uh, in the correct direction. So we use this green arrow here. So that is the wrong direction. We'll flip that. So yeah, we're gonna emboss onto this surface here. And just a note for Raptor Face, if your object that you are embossing or engraving onto is cylindrical, you would want to select Raptor Face, and then you would want to identify the face to which you're wrapping to. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, again, this is a flat surface, and so there's no need to select Raptor Face. We'll press OK. I'm just going to hide that plane. And you can see how we've embossed our text there, looking good. We'll do exactly the same for the engrave. So I'm going to right click on our plane and do a new sketch uh, text. I uh, do how to engrave. Put that as 8 mil again. Center that middle justification bold. Okay. I'm just going to drag and drop that uh, just roughly there. We'll finish that sketch. Again, we use the emboss command. And we'll select this profile here. Uh, so make sure that's highlighted in red. And then we'll select the engrave command. Uh, for this, we'll do a depth of one mil considering the wall thickness of this part is two mil. And we can see the red arrow here is in the wrong direction. So we'll flip that again, we'll press okay. And there we have engraved that text onto our part. So that is the end of this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. But aside from that, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.